Joe Passarelli here, folks. What is good? You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Also, go on to the Wrestling Throwdown. Subscribe. Get the best reviews in the business going on right now. Myself, Haley Himes. Of course, you know me, Joe Passarelli, the host of the one and only Joe Passarelli Show. My thoughts, folks, on Alberto Del Rio getting his pink slip this week from the WWE, getting released. Uh, a lot of rumors circulating that is this involved a backstage incident with Alberto Del Rio, possibly putting his hands on someone from the social media department in the backstage of the WWE. Numerous reports are still sur circulating as to the motive and reason as to why Del Rio would do this. Many other rumors had surfaced throughout the months that Alberto Del Rio wasn't happy, was planning on possibly going back to Mexico after his contract expired. Ironically, just a week ago, we saw Ricardo Rodriguez, the guy who was so synonymous with Alberto Del Rio, get released. And, you know, with Alberto Del Rio, it's funny because... He had such a great start in the WWE, but one of those classic cases that was pushed too much too early, and then the WWE just didn't know what to do with him and did not treat him like a star, and he withered away and became irrelevant there in mid-card hell with guys like Sheamus and Miz, and ironically, they are all pushed at similar times, so, which obviously gave rise to a certain philosophy that the WWE was using at that present time. Alberto Del Rio... Came in hot to SmackDown, prize free agent from AAA, Dos Carlos Jr. Came in with the new gimmick, with the cars, almost like the Spanish JBL. Came out with his own ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. It was cool. It was getting over. People were into it. He was a solid wrestler, a solid brand new heel on the block. And, you know, he won the Royal Rumble. First, uh, the the first ever and only ever forty man Royal Rumble in Boston, Massachusetts, the CD Bank North Garden. Shout out to my boy, the Jazz Man, my co-host from the Strike Zone, who was live for that Royal Rumble. Uh, he of course lost to Edge uh, in what ended up being Edge's retirement match due to neck injuries, and then lost to Christian and kind of was losing steam, but then all of a sudden he won a Money in the Bank briefcase. Um, the same year, CM Punk, uh, no, Daniel Bryan won the Money in the Bank. Uh, Daniel Bryan won it on SmackDown, and Alberto Del Rio won it on Raw. And Alberto Del Rio uh, cashed in the Money in the Bank on CM Punk when CM Punk unified the WWE Championships with a win at SummerSlam against John Cena. Kevin Nash came out, jackknife, powerbombed. Punk, for no reason, one of the worst story injections in recent WWE history, Kevin Nash and that whole CM Punk story, pipe bomb storyline, just stupid, stupid stuff, I mean, I love Nash, and I love Punk, but that was just dumb, but, you know, won the WWE Championship, then lost it to CM Punk, which gave rise to CM Punk's 434-day reign as WWE Champion. Del Rio was a two-time WWE Champion throughout his uh, time of holding that belt in that era. Also a two-time World Heavyweight Champion. Um, was very vicious with, with his opponents in the ring. Many people feel he was the reason for Dolph Ziggler's concussion issues and kind of the fall of Dolph Ziggler from the main event scene. And Del Rio, I mean... Look, he's a great wrestler, but he's very repetitious. He doesn't really have a great character. The matchups they feature in seem like they've been done a hundred million times. People talk about him versus Sheamus. I mean, top to bottom. Most recently, wrestled Dean Ambrose. And actually a very good match on Raw. 15-minute beat-the-clock challenge match. Uh, but obviously, this altercation took place in the middle of this week. I believe it was Thursday. Yesterday, I was at Gillette Stadium working the One Direction concert. Yay! But honestly... With Del Rio, they took they took Ricardo away from him. They took the cars away from him. He just got in the mid card scene, and really has done nothing ever since. So his release was no surprise to me, or really anybody I think who's been following the Alberto Del Rio story um, closely. 
But honestly, it is sad. WWE actually releasing a tweet today, a two-part tweet, uh, pretty much saying that Del Rio deserved his punishment, deserved to be released. He was unprofessional in the back. Obviously, they're standing up for their own backstage workers. However, tune into my next video where I tear in the WWE for releasing one of their great all-time backstage and non-on-camera personas uh, and personalities. But... Alberto Del Rio, Mexico's greatest export, as JBL likes to say. Going back to Mexico, maybe he <clears throat> resurrects the Dos Caros Jr. gimmick. Maybe he can go get knocked out again by uh, Mauricio Shogun Hua over in UFC like he did in Pride when he was wearing the Dos Caros mask trying to be an MMA guy. I don't know. What do you think? Alberto Del Rio, he gone. Fresh blood in the scene. Not a problem with that. Del Rio... Look for him for AAA, maybe even TNA if they're still around. Certainly, that would be a big coup for TNA. Uh, obviously, a very credible individual, four-time world heavyweight champion overall, two-time WWE, two-time world, money in the bank champion, uh, or holder, I should say, briefcase match winner, uh, Royal Rumble winner, and the greatest, uh, arguably, you know, not the greatest, but the biggest Royal Rumble of all time, 40 men. Notable guy, Alberto Del Rio. He gone. What do you think, folks? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Subscribe. Joe Passarelli. Subscribe to the Wrestling Throwdown. Tune, tune in tomorrow for three live stream reviews on this week's SmackDown, TNA, and NXT. Our apologies to anyone who tried to tune in tonight. Uh, however, some technical difficulties on my end with Google Hangouts prevented that from happening. However, audio seems to be good for the video, so... There you go, folks. Here's video number one. Video two is coming. Subscribe. Joe Passarelli.